Hello again and welcome to your weekly gambling news roundup. The news this week is brought to you by PlaySlot4, realmoney.com, that's the numeral 4, and easymobilecasino.com. For the most recent online casino ratings and slot machine reviews, stop by casinoslotsmoney.com. And hey, make sure you subscribe to our newsletter to get the latest news and those bonus codes delivered to you every single week. Also, please take a moment to give this a five-star rating on whatever podcast platform you're on. It really means a lot to us, and it is so easy to rate and review us. Finally, feel free to view the links below, which are, as always, very helpful resources. Well, in our first story this week, Mohegan Sun Casino and Resort in Connecticut has been named the best casino hotel by USA Today. This is the fifth time in a row that the casino complex, operated by the Mohegan tribe, has been recognized as the best gaming, entertainment, and leisure destination in the country. The resort, located in Uncasville, earned the title thanks to its design that tells the story of the Mohegan people and their culture. Luxurious rooms outfitted with the latest technology and other numerous premium amenities, such as a pool, a spa, and fitness center. This year, the USA Today's list looks a bit surprising due to the one glaring omission. For the first time in years, no Las Vegas resort has made the top 10. Next up, Macau Casino stocks soared on Monday as the city officials indicated the Chinese government is readying to open up travel and ease the COVID restrictions. After a rough two years due to the repeated lockdowns, this is finally a piece of good news for Macau Casino operators as now people can return in numbers to the world's largest gambling hub. After the government announced uh, U.S. casinos stocks with Macau's exposure took off in Monday's market trading. The top two performers were Wynn Resorts and Las Vegas Sands, with a 12 and 11.7% rise, respectively. This is indeed a positive development for the American casinos in Macau, which have been in a downtrend since the United States launched the trade war against China in 2018. In our next story this week, the Philippines are about to shut down the operations of 175 offshore gambling companies and deport nearly 40,000 Chinese workers. The action comes as a part of the major crackdown by the government on the notoriously shady online casino industry. The whole online gaming sector in the Philippines has been rapidly developing since 2016, as casinos saw the South Asian country with liberal gambling laws as a perfect location from which to target gamblers in China, where gambling is, of course, illegal. At one point before the pandemic, Philippine offshore gambling operators had more than 300,000 Chinese employees. However, after numerous reports on criminal activities, including murders and kidnapping committed by Chinese nationals against their compatriots, the government had to resort to tough measures. In our last story this week, Staten Island President Vito Pacella has invited interested developers and the New York State Gaming Commission to take a chance and consider this borough as a potential landing spot for the new casino in downstate New York. The commission will award three Class 3 full casino licenses, and Fosella hopes that one of these will end up in his part of the town. As the only part of New York without any type of gambling, Staten Island would probably be a desirable location for potential developers. Fosella has already suggested a perfect location at the site of the failed New York Wheel project. Sitting across from Manhattan in picturesque surroundings, this spot could easily become a destination with both gambling and tourist appeal. Well, remember to visit PlaySlots for realmoney.com. That's the numeral 4 and easymobilecasino.com. Remember, for the most recent online casino ratings and slot machine reviews, stop by casinoslotsmoney.com. Subscribe to our newsletter to get the latest news and bonus codes delivered to you weekly for more updates. And please share this podcast on your social networks. And, of course, feel free to view the links below, which are always helpful resources. And that is your weekly gambling news roundup for this week. And we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.